He said Monty doesn't understand why he can't be over with the other dogs. Everybody, I'm Randy and I'm Diane and we're Zephyr Travels coming to you from coastal California this is the central coast area of California and we've been here for a week and nice place yeah it was an, a nice park today is a beautiful day in coastal California it's very sunny extremely mild temperatures for winter in California um, we're a little breezy but it feels good. Otherwise, it probably would be warmer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We are right between Murrow Rock or Murrow Inlet on the Pacific Coast and San Luis Obispo, which is the county seat of this area. And we are in El Churro Regional Park. And this is a really nice park, another regional park that we've been staying at. You're going to see a theme in our videos if you haven't caught on by this point. We've been doing a lot of regional parks on this trip and they become a great way to find a nice place to camp without spending a lot of money. Right. And in this park, you do have full hookups. They do have a section where there are no hookups, but we are in, a, in one of the sections that has full hookups. While we've been here, we have driven up the Pacific Coast Highway North. We went about 100 miles. And, and it's a really nice ride. Um, if you've never done the Pacific Coast Highway, it's something you really got to try to do. Wouldn't recommend towing a trailer, but you could do it if you really had to. Um, there are some very sharp switchbacks in some of it that you're going to have to maneuver with a sheer cliff on one side. But the scenic view of it is awesome, so let's show you some video of that. Pacific Coast Highway and we see this field of animals and I go are those zebras and we're like yeah so of course we had to stop and then Randy knows the story that um, Randolph Hearst had zebras yeah and these are descendants of those original zebras that Randolph Hearst had the Pacific Coast Highway to take a look at Hearst Castle built by William Randolph Hearst. Unfortunately the castle is closed due to damage to the road leading up to the castle. So this is the closest that we could get.
we're looking out into the surf here and you can see some seals in the water. When the waves break, you can actually see them swimming through the wave. It's really kind of cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera or not, but we're trying to show you some. Zephyr, Monty, you guys having a good ride? It's a nice day for a ride along the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, it is rather curvy, a little unsettling for me. For me, it feels like I'm on one of the attractions at Disneyland. So, and there's some parts where you really don't want to look down because you're pretty far up. But it is, it's a nice ride. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you've never done it before. I wouldn't recommend you tow a trailer. We've seen a couple motorhomes and a couple Class Cs, but I would not recommend towing a trailer. The views are spectacular. The Pacific Ocean is gorgeous. The blues, the many rocks, and we did see some seals out in the um, waves. So yeah, it's, the, it's just beautiful. What else have we done while we're here? We also went into uh, San Lupus Obisco one night and on Thursday evenings they do have a nice farmers market. They also set up local restaurants on the street that you can enjoy and there are other shops to go in and explore as well. Every Thursday night San Luis Obisco has a farmers market downtown and so we thought we would wander down tonight being it's Thursday and check it out. So come along with us. vegetables so yeah it was neat yeah it's a little more like a festival than just a farmer's, farmer's market. market yeah yeah they do the farmer's market every Thursday and it's if you're gonna come here make sure to plan to be here on a Thursday for that because it is well worth it it starts at six o'clock and lasts to about nine o'clock mm -hmm. um, and they don't s start before six o'clock so if you get there early you're not gonna get any advantage but right. definitely worth it and some of those food vendors were lined right up um, with the food and it was good. Yeah. We also drove into Pismo Beach one day and we parked the truck and took a walk around. We did go down into onto the beach and to our surprise, even though it was quite cool and windy, it was pretty crowded and many people were on the beach. Yep. And one of the neat things we saw while we were down there, Airstreams on the pier. So let's show you some video of that. Today we're in Pismo Beach. And we're taking a stroll around town. And see what there is to see. Yeah, we've never been here, so obviously, so we are going to check out and see what's here and see if there's anything interesting and share it with you guys.
field so airstreams never die. They just take on a new job at the beach. Here's one that's been redone as a restaurant. And the one over here behind me is now the visitor center. Pretty cool. We finished our tour, went out a bit on the pier. Uh, it was pretty windy, but in spite of that, there was a lot of people on the beach, some surfers in the water, and we stopped at a couple shops. One was a cinnamon roll shop, and as you can see, we bought four. Uh, they look wonderful, they're huge, uh, and they're heavy. So hopefully they're as good as they want. But it was a nice day, um, you know, a bit cool, a bit breezy the closer you got to the water. But all in all, it was, uh, it was fun. So, yeah. So this park, as Diane said, is full of hookups, and it's really nice. Their sites are very um, spacious and well shaded. You've got a dog park right nearby that you can take the dogs to. And we, Monty and Zephyr have been there multiple times. In fact, we're going to swing by there on our way out today. Right. It is a community dog park, not just for the local campground. So you will see several dogs there at one time. Yes. And they do have a separate park for small dogs and for the larger dogs. There is also a botanical garden center that you can go in and explore. and. Yeah, it, it was a nice park. Yep. Or it is a nice park. Right. And the cost on this park is about $40 a night. And there is a dog fee of $350 per dog. So our cost on this was about $45 per night. Now, I would like to believe that that $350 for a dog charge goes towards a dog park because that is run separately from the park by a separate organization. So I'm hoping they're collecting for that. Okay. Well, we're going to hit the road today. We're going to continue our travels north and we're going to do something kind of neat tonight for an overnight and then we're heading up towards San Francisco. But you're going to have to wait to the next video to see all of that. So until the next time, what should they do? If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Zephyr Travels and give it a big thumbs up. That's right. When you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications because we post new videos every week and we'd love to have you guys follow around in our journey. So until the next time, guys, we will see you down the road. Take care. Bye. Monty. Monty. Zephyr.